Hey everyone, this is Sal from Geek.com. I'm here with the Alienware M11X R2 and Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, we already test, tested this game out on uh, basically on the high settings, which for some reason the auto configure put on this. But anyway, I've uh, restarted the game with more reasonable settings, so uh, it might actually play above 8 frames per second, which it did last time, uh, which was obviously miserable and unplayable. So uh, this time we're still at 16, 1366 by 768, which is full screen. I'd like to stick with that if possible. But I moved everything uh, basically to very low. So uh, texture quality is low, reflection resolution is off, water quality is low, shadow quality is off, texture filter quality is 2x, view distance, detail distance, vehicle density are all 11. Definition is off and VSync is off. So uh, resource usage dropped from uh, high 600s, like 680 something megabytes, of course, down to 235. So we'll watch the frame counter up here on the top left and we'll see how it does. Again, this is actual in game, normal, obviously, you can see it's the very start of the game. Texture quality is, uh, sorry, the the image quality is way down from before. This is this is still a pretty good looking game with those settings at high, uh, but we were getting frame rates in the, you know, it would jump up to like mid 20s, but only last there for a minute or two, and then it would drop down to seven or eight. You can see that in the previous video. So uh, now I'm pretty consistently 31, 32, and all that. Oh, I had crashed into those last time and died. Yes. You could see, but uh, 27, 28. Last time when I crashed into those, it dropped down to 6, and I was stuck at 6. So uh, you can get an idea how uh, it's better now. I don't have any guns or anything like that, so otherwise I'd show you some action. But uh, the fact of the matter is, this is at 4 times the amount it was before. So uh, there's definitely a market improvement. So uh, 47, 45 frames per second, 44, definitely much better. The game, at this point, it doesn't look great, to be honest. It looks pretty blurry, and uh, you're, you're missing out a lot of the work that was put into this game, which is too bad. But uh, I am playing it at a reasonable, a reasonable level. So basically, it's on super low right now, so what you would want to do is tweak this to get to an acceptable level. This uh, this ML11X R2 is running uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, the Core i7 640 UM processor, and then uh, the 500 gigabyte disk. So uh, it's a pretty maxed out spec. So uh, you know how your ML11X works might be a little different. But uh, so if you want to improve the quality a little bit, you could bump up those tex textures a little bit, maybe add definition back on, uh, increase the view distance, that'll uh, minimize the amount of pop-in we're seeing, and uh, that sort of thing. So Let's just hop right into the benchmark. Last time the game benchmarked at 30 frames per second, which is uh, obviously super generous of the benchmark because the game once we hop into the real game, it was only pulling down like uh, eight frames per second. You just heard the, I don't know if you heard it, but the fan just popped on. I've been playing this game for about 10 minutes and the system's starting to heat up a little bit. It doesn't get real hot. You can hear the fan, obviously, or maybe you can't hear it with this crappy camera of mine, but uh, you can hear the camera when you're gaming, but it's not over overwhelming. And unless the system's on your lap, heat generally isn't an issue. Palm rest does get a little bit warm on the left side though. Anyway, here goes the benchmark. The frame counter is still up there. Uh, I probably mentioned this before, but it's not recording anything, so it's not going to affect the frame rate. The game did super well on the benchmark last time, and basically was doing, um, I don't know, mid-20s and low-30s. 
this time it's doing high 30s and low 40s so shouldn't take too much from this but uh, it's nice to see it anyway This time the average was uh, 36.11. That's up from uh, 28. Point, I think it was 92. CPU usage was 79%. System memory usage was 67%. Video memory usage was 37%. And again, texture quality low. Reflection resolution off. Water quality low. Shadow quality off. Texture quilt. Texture filter quality 2x. Night shadows off. View distance, detail distance, and definition. Sorry, view distance, detail distance for both 11. So is vehicle density. Like I said, it's not list, listed here. Definition to vsync were off. So. Anyway, this is Sal from Geek.com with the Alienware M11X and Grand Theft Auto. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Anyway, thanks for watching.